methodology. An Akhirul Zaman is the age which will culminate with the Prophet alayhi salatu waslam described him to us 1400 years ago. A man who would be a Jew. That's not an anti-Semitic statement. He's a Jew. A young man, powerfully built, with curls at the side, the Orthodox Jews curls. And this man will stand up in Jerusalem and declare, I am the Messiah. That's Akhiru Zaman. And uh, in order for him to convince the Jews that he is the Messiah, he has to be ruling over a state of Israel. <laughs> which will say, Wait, this is holy Israel of Nabi Dawood and Nabi Sulaiman alayhi salam, David and Solomon. And that Israel must be ruling the world. <laughs> Only then can he claim to be successful as uh, the impersonation of the true Messiah. He would be the false messiah he would be Dajjal al-Masih al-Dajjal oh, oh everybody knows that this is common knowledge and when he makes that declaration at that time <coughs> the attack on Mecca and Medina will occur and he come from the east 20 times the Prophet ﷺ pointed to the east and he will ride on a, do on a donkey and the donkey will travel as fast as the clouds and the donkey will have his ears stretched out wide hmm? religious symbolism Oh, Brother Imran, didn't you study geography? Huh? The Prophet said that the Dajjal will come from the East. And in your book, your bestseller, Jerusalem in the Quran, you say that when the Dajjal was released on the island, remember the island? No? You don't remember the island? Oh my. Well, read, <laughs> read Jerusalem in the Quran. Hadith speaks about an island. And Imran Hussein says the island is Britain. And Britain is the West. And the Prophet said, You come from the East. Didn't Imran Hussein study geography? <laughs> yeah. He will come from the East at that time. When his mission is completed, a day like a year has been completed, a day like a month is completed, a day like a week is finished, and now wasairu ayamihi ka ayamikum. Now all his days are like your days, so he now be in our world of space and time. Dajjal. It is at this time that he will be ruling the world from Jerusalem. And at this time the attack will take place with fighter aircraft, our interpretation. But those who insist that no, a flying donkey is a flying donkey and they want to wait for the flying donkey, we have to respect the view. When we interpret, we do not do it in a dogmatic way. When we interpret, we say, Allahu A'lam, Allah knows best. So we say it's a fighter aircraft, the flying donkey. And uh, the attack will come from the east, but the angels will block the attack. Uh, I have a booklet at the back uh, entitled Med Medina, Medina, Medina to Nabi returns to center stage in Akhirul Zaman. It's only about 25 pages long. And that booklet describes this event when the attack on Medina takes place. But then after that, when the angels block him, 
then the Israeli attack on Syria will take place. So we know Israel is going to attack Syria. The Jal will be there. And then Damascus becomes the center of the world. Because the Jal is in Damascus. And Imam al Mahdi is in Damascus. He is inside the masjid. He is outside. And then Nabi Isa Islam comes down in the masjid, Damascus. So now you know why, why Damascus is so important. You know why this bloodshed and so on is going on in Syria now. Why? Because this is the culmination, Damascus, uh, the end time. But our subject is Constantinople.